high there, students. Liable. An adjective and the corresponding noun, a liability. Okay, liable has two different uses and two different structures. If somebody is liable for something, they are responsible in law. They're obliged. They're answerable, especially for payment of money or payment of debts. So the company is liable for this debt. The other use of liable is liable plus infinitive, likely to, susceptible to, more probable Okay, so for example, men are more likely to die from the coronavirus than women. If you don't wrap those bottles well, they're liable to break in transit. So we have liable for, responsible for, and liable to, likely to. After a car accident, there's often an argument about who is liable for the damage caused. Maybe the insurance company will say it's not liable because the driver was drunk. Liable to. He's liable to get angry when you give him this news. Okay, he, it is liable to rain when you are in the UK. So, liabilities. In this case, a liability only talks about the responsibility. In business, a liability is the opposite of an asset. It's money owed things that the company will have to pay or that a person will have to pay. So if your liabilities are greater than your assets, you're probably bankrupt. Notice as well, a person can be a liability. This is a person whose behaviour will leave you at a disadvantage. If we take him hunting with us, he's a liability. He's probably going to end up um, uh, in a situation that gets somebody hurt. Um, this player is a liability for the team. He's liable to give away a penalty in the last minute of the match and we lose. Okay, so a liability for a person, a person whose behaviour puts you at a disadvantage. So, liable for, responsible for, legally responsible for, especially payment. And liable to, susceptible to. Um, this type of computer is liable to overheat. It's probable it will overheat. It often overheats. Now, next question, the origin. Well, liable comes from the Latin verb ligare, which means to tie or to bind. So if you're liable for something, you're legally tied to pay it. And I guess if you're liable to do something, it's like you have a bond with this thing. Now, next question, formality. I think liable for and liability, these are reasonably formal, and I don't think I would use them in an informal conversation. Maybe 7 or 6.5 informality. You are liable for this informally responsible for. However, in something semi-formal and something very formal, liability for, liable for, this is good language. He's liable to do this. I think it's probably less formal. I'd probably give this something like a 5.5 or a 6. I guess you could 
just about use liable to in an informal conversation. Although I think I would probably say likely to. And for something semi-formal or very formal, liable to do something, this is a really good phrase. So, liable. You are liable for something. You're legally responsible, answerable, and you've got to pay, pay if there's any damage. Liable to do something, susceptible to something, probable to, that you're going to do this, yeah? You are, you are more probable that this will happen. So, there you go. Liable and liability. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Liable and liability.